Today we are going to learn how to order decimal numbers. Decimal numbers are numbers that are in between whole numbers. An example of this is 14.3, which is a number that is in between 14 and 15. 14.3 is greater than 14, but less than 15. The dot in between 14 and 3 is called the decimal point. The number to the left of the decimal point is called as the whole part or integral part. Thus, the number 14 is the whole part or integral part. The number to the right of the decimal point is called the decimal part. So 3 is the decimal part. The decimal point separates the integral part and the decimal part. The number of digits after the decimal point are called the number of decimal places. There is one decimal place in 14.3. Let's look at another decimal number. 49.75. 49 is the integral part. The dot in between 49 and 75 is the decimal point. 75 is the decimal part. It's read as 49.75. There are two decimal places in 49.75. Write the following numbers in ascending order. Ascending order means writing the numbers from lowest to highest. The first step is to create a table and put each number on it. In this way. As we can see, the decimal point is in the same place for each number. The second step is to fill in the empty spaces with zeros. The third step is to find the smallest number. The smallest number is the number with the smallest digit in the first column. In the first column we have 0, 8, 3, and 7. The smallest digit is 0. So this is the smallest number. We do the same with the remaining numbers. The smallest digit in the first column is 3. So this is the next number in order. Between 8 and 7, 7 is smaller. So this is the next number in order. The last number left is the largest number. And this is how we order decimal numbers in ascending order. From lowest to highest. Write the following numbers in descending order. Descending order means writing the numbers from highest to lowest. The first step is to create a table and put each number on it. In this way. It's very important that the decimal points are aligned. The second step is to fill in the empty spaces with zeros. The third step is to find the largest number. The largest number is the number with the largest digit in the first column. In the first column we have 4, 6, 0, and 0. The largest digit is 6. So this is the largest number. We do the same with the remaining numbers. Now the largest digit in the first column is 4. So this is the next number in order. Now we have two numbers that start with the same digit. 0. When this happens, we have to look at in the next column. In this case the second column. We have 1 and 9. 
9 is greater than 1, so this is the next number in order. The last number left is the smallest number. And this is how we order decimal numbers in descending order. From highest to lowest. Write these numbers in ascending order. Write these numbers in descending order. Write these numbers in ascending order. Write these numbers in descending order. Write these numbers in ascending order. Write these numbers in descending order. Write these numbers in ascending order. Write these numbers in descending order. Write these numbers in ascending order. Write these numbers in descending order. Alright? That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.